Hey everyone, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I'm tapping in right now to do a collective reading for you guys. And before I get into that, I have a channeled download that I am being called to speak on. Before I do that, I do want to say that, you know, I am a medium. This download is very significant and heavy. It's for someone specific, but I received it through an elemental conduit. So that's how I know that it is a message, okay? And I am getting hot. Like I have this, look at this. I'm getting so warm right here. I don't even know why, but that's, yeah, this is a channeled message here. Okay, I feel a lot of heat all of a sudden. And I've gotten multiple confirmations on this this morning. So I heard the phrase, all is fair in love and war. And then I heard Inanna. Okay. Inanna, Ishtar. And Segment. Then I got the scene in my mind from um, the Netflix series, Troy, Fall of a City, where um, a priest, a daughter was taken away from a priest and was um, defiled by the Greek, one of the Greek kings. And a plague or sickness fell upon the camp. Okay, um, then I got from the Bible, the story, confirmation. Then I got the story from the Bible of Abraham and his wife, Sarah. Sarah was taken by a Pharaoh and a plague fell upon the Pharaoh and the Egyptians. Yeah, and I'm getting a nose tickle. <laughs> okay, so these goddesses, Inanna, Ishtar, and Sekhmet, they, and I got a pigeon that just flew right above. I'm telling you guys, I've gotten so many confirmations on this message here, okay? These goddesses are the goddesses of love and of war. All is fair in love and war. And then I heard Inanna, okay? So, these goddesses are healers, okay? They, um, they're goddesses of love and fertility and healing, but at the same time, they will destroy their enemies if war is waged upon them, okay? Especially Sekhmet is known for bringing pest and plague and illness at the same time, she is a patron goddess of healers and doctors and um, generally of healing, okay? This message is for someone that has waged war on you because somebody came upon or came up against someone that didn't deserve it and didn't do anything wrong these goddesses, but in specific, Inanna, wants someone to know. Now, I'm not sure if this is a prophecy or if this is something that someone is experiencing or if this is just a foreshadow. But if somebody falls ill or if somebody starts developing a sickness, it's not magic and it's not witchcraft. It's not dark magic. It's not an energetic backfire. Inanna wants someone to know that it's her. Okay. Um, Inanna, and specifically, yeah, my candle is going high, 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 high. And specifically wants someone to know that it's, it is who is with you. So someone here is being protected by Inanna and Ishtar and Sekhmet. 
And if somebody were to fall ill or develop sickness, and I feel like that's why I got the, the visuals of those, um, of the Bible, but also of the fall of the city Troy, um, where illness fell upon a camp, where illness fell upon people. Um, in both cases, there was someone that was taken. There was a feminine energy that was taken or in the uh, the fall of a city, it was um, the daughter was taken and then defiled, right? So this message is, and I swear it's, I feel like it's a channeled message from Inanna saying, it's who is with you. I feel like someone here might be falling ill or experiencing sickness and Inanna wants this person to know that it's not witchcraft and it's not dark magic and it's not an energetic backfire. It's her. She, It's like she wants to take credit for it. Okay, guys? So that's the message. And yeah, with that being said, let's get into the reading. All is fair in love and war. This is someone that has waged war against someone that didn't deserve it. And that's all I'm gonna say to that. Okay, so let's see here, collective. What is, and all of a sudden the heat is gone. I mean, I still feel hot right here, which is so strange because I'm actually cold. Like you can see it in my hands that I'm cold. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah. All right, holy angels and our divine spirit guides watching over us, protecting us, guiding us on our path here, the collective. What does the collective need to know at this time? What is your message for the collective? What is your message for the collective? High Priestess. Wow. That blows me away. Nine of Swords. There could even be somebody watching right now. Maybe whoever this message is meant to reach is somebody that's even watching this message right now. This person could be worried about this message that they're receiving. Page of Swords, this could be a watcher, somebody that's watching and they're nervous and they're scared and they're worried, maybe even anxious and paranoid about a high priestess or about the powers that are surrounding you and protecting you and watching out for you. Wow. Yeah. So tell me about the high priestess here. Why is the high priestess here? The Knight of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. Someone here is confused. Knight of Cups in reverse is giving me like something was rejected. Did someone try to petition someone or t try to petition something? and it was rejected, or now they're finding out. Maybe they're finding out now. Whatever they tried to petition, it was rejected, okay? Seven of Cups. What's the Nine of Swords? The Moon in reverse. Yeah, it didn't work. I don't know, I feel like somebody here might have tried to petition something and it did not work. Okay, 
Maybe that's why Inanna is stepping up like this. Judgment. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, I didn't, I didn't say this, even though I was so close to saying it before I got the cards out with judgment being here, okay? That, you know, a lot of the times in my readings, judgment will come out. And I will say, these people are under judgment. Now, that doesn't necessarily always mean that, you know, they're going to get arrested. There's divine judgment and there are powers, higher powers, higher forces. Judgment can even look like illness because that's out of human control. Is that what someone is worried about? High Priestess in Reverse. Interesting how the High Priestess in Reverse. So this could be a high, a high Priestess in the Reverse dealing with a High Priestess. So both of you could be connected. But one of you is in the upright and the other one is in reverse. So one of you is on the light side and the other one is on the dark side. That's kind of what it's giving me here. What's the page of swords? Strength in reverse. Which is so interesting that strength comes out because it's a lion. And Inanna and Ishtar are often depicted with a lion with a lion's head, but here it's showing up in the reverse. Sekhmet is depicted with a lion's head. But here for this watcher, someone spying, someone watching, gathering information, receiving a message, it's in the reverse. The devil. Yeah. This is a this is like a dark high priestess, okay? Or a dark high priest. The page of pentacles. I feel like they made a petition. They tried to make an offering. Someone here tried to make an offering to a lower entity with the devil like this next to the page of pentacles this might be a message for the this person saying it's not gonna work if somebody is wondering why their petitions are not working their offerings are not working to lower entities it's because of who is with you and i heard that as a quote i heard that as a as a as a medium it's because of who is with you It's not magic. Someone here is protected. Heavily. Okay. Tell me more about the High Priestess, please. A group of people working together. There's something that has been rejected. The Four of Cups, the Knight of Cups in reverse. There's something here that has been rejected. What was rejected? Some sort of collaboration or... The King of... No, the Knight of Swords. Some sort of communication. The King of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so this King of Wands here, this could be somebody in your family, someone attached to your family. This is a message. This Knight of Swords, this is a message for this King of Wands. Every single petition they make, it's going to get rejected. And if they fall ill, Inanna wants you to know why. Sekhmet wants you to know why. 
It's not because of magic. It's not because of an offering. It's not because of witchcraft. It's because this person works for the devil. And all is fair in love and war, right? So what's the Nine of Cups reverse? I can't. It got rejected. Knight of Cups in reverse. Their offer got rejected. This King of Wands tried to make a deal. I don't know if they try to summon something or they try to offer something. The devil is laughing in this person's face right now. This person tried to summon a demon or summon an entity. They tried to make an offering. It got rejected. Every single petition and offering this person makes is going to get rejected. Okay. The moon. Oh my God. The moon and the seven of pentacles. This person did something under the moon. They did something under the full moon here with the devil. This king of wands did. That is definitely moon magic and that is something dark. They tried to summon a dark entity. They tried to make an offering to the devil or a demon. Yeah, Knight of Cups in reverse, it got rejected. Now you know. Okay, King of Wands. Your shit got rejected. Yeah. So, what's the Nine of Pentacles? The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're still stable. You're still successful. The Six of Cups. Something is growing for you as well. So you've gone from the Four of Pentacles to the Nine. Maybe in the past you were in the Four of Pentacles. You were barely holding on to stability. This person could have... Oh, they were trying to target someone's money. Is that what this is? Someone's success and money? The Empress. Your abundance. Your fertility. The King of Pentacles. Oh, I get it now. That's why the goddesses of love and war stepped in. Love, fertility, and war. This person targeted your abundance, your money, your fertility. I mean, fertility doesn't always have to just be um, babies. It can also be, you know, just abundance, fertility in prosperity, fertility in um, opportunity. love this person targeted love abundance prosperity fertility it got rejected seven of cups this person is confused <laughs> why you're not having a painful ending why things are not ending for you in your life Yeah, five of wands, five of swords. This person was hoping that you would have upheaval in your life. This is the war. This is war. Backstabbing, manipulative, calculated violence, aggression, conflict. This is war. This is literally love, fertility, and war. And now I'm wondering, I mean, this person... I doubt, I doubt, I highly, highly doubt that this person petitioned these goddesses. I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. I, the devil is here twice for this king of wands, which tells me that this person works with low vibrational entities, low vibrational fourth, dimen uh, fourth dimensional entities. This, this person works with demons, but try to target someone with love, fertility and try to start a war but you whoever this message is for you have the goddesses particularly inanna watching out for you and protecting you who is with you okay you're protected you're safe this person's petition like i said it's rejected their little moon ritual that they did okay what's the nine of swords now they're stressed out and worried about the risk that they took 
Yeah. Because you're protected. Because you are protected. Very protected. Highly protected. No chance. And this person is now worried. Very worried. Very, very worried. Okay. Very, very worried. And I'm telling you, Inanna wants someone to know here, this King of Wands, that if they start feeling away and they start getting energetic backlash or they start getting ill, it's not magic. It's not curses. It's not spell work. You don't do any of that. You don't have to. And it wasn't you. It's not you. It's these goddesses. What's the moon in reverse? The seven of swords. Yeah, this person thought that whatever they're doing under the moonlight here, nobody would know. Nobody's going to find out. Right? Because they're doing it at three in the morning here. Page of swords. But they're watching. They're watching. They're spying. They're watching. Why is judgment here? The king of wands. You're under judgment. I cannot even make it up. King of Wands, your soul is under judgment. Can't believe it just came out like that again. Temperance. And it's divine judgment. I'm not even going to say it. Why is judgment here? Two of Pentacles. They thought that they could swap something. What did this person try and swap, huh? What did this person think that they could swap? Marriage in reverse. Something with a divorce. They thought that they could sever your contracts. They thought that they could sever your protection, sever your contracts. Oh no, this is war. They thought they could trade places with you. That's what it is? Or is this their judgment? I'm not the one saying it. I'm not the one that made the card come out. Coffin is falling right on top of judgment, which is falling right on top of king of wands. So either this is what they're receiving judgment for, it's because of what they wished for you, what they try to do to you, what they maybe petitioned their little demon to do, okay? Or this is their judgment, one or the other. It's a mature man. This king of wands knows exactly who he is. So, why is the High Priestess in reverse? He's a dark High Priestess. He's, he's, a, he's a High Priest. He's a practitioner. Or he knows one. Eight of Pentacles. Or he works with one. He works with a practitioner. He either works with a dark High Priestess or he is a dark High Priest. He's a practitioner or he knows one. Yeah, but this is stronger. Temperance energy, the divine energy, the higher level is stronger than what this person is doing. Okay, so what's a page of swords? The three of swords. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Wanting to hurt someone. Wanting to sacrifice someone. Oh my God, I see what he did. That's why he's under judgment. Do 
Do you want me to say this? Do you want me to say out loud what the King of Wands gets into when he thinks no one is watching? What kind of offerings this person makes to the devil and to demons? Yes, Six of Wands, yes. Page of Pentacles, that's his petition. It's something of the earth. It's something of the earth. I don't know. Those of you who know, you know what it means with the three of swords. Three swords and a heart. Working with demonic, demonic energy, devil energy, devil worship. Queen of Swords. So you really want me to say it out loud? What kind of nasty shit this King of Wands gets into? What he thinks he can petition and offer? Thinking that it's going to get him anything. You really want me to say this out loud? The hanged man. He makes sacrifices. You are disgusting. Sacrifices. This is a sacrifice. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's at the bottom of the deck. It's at the bottom of the deck again. Three of swords and a sacrifice. Now I understand the personal message. This person makes sacrifices. I don't know in what extent, but it's definitely living things. It's definitely things that have a heart. Don't tell me it's a secret society. Oh, of old men in robes. What the fuck is this? Two cards of a robed individual with a hood on, a hooded individual making sacrifices with hearts. The sun in reverse, king of wands. This is a dark person. They operate in the dark. Five of swords, they would do anything to win. Cold and calculated person here. Strength. This is Inanna. And Sekhmet. And Ishtar. You're not gonna betray someone here. You are not gonna sacrifice someone in the collective. You are not getting away with this. This form of magic. This King of Wands thinks that he's a master magician. Why? Because he does nasty, dark things like this. This is a master magician. Communicating something. Thinking that he can get out of what he's done. Wow, so he made an offering. So that's why you're bringing me this message today. It's because this person really thought that they were going to be able to avoid their karma by petitioning some demon through some sort of a sacrifice. Judgment and coffin. King of Wands, when you start getting sick, it's not magic. It's not your little demon that you summoned. It's Inanna. Yeah. No, it's all three. 
It's all three coming for this person. It's Inanna, Ishtar, and Sekhmet. It's all three. It's all three coming for this person. Yeah. Yeah. Six of Wands. Yes. This is my yes card. Yes. It's all three. Yo, I'm about to really... Inanna, Ishtar, and Sekhmet. Yes. It's all three goddesses with the lion head. Yes. It's coming for you, King of Wands. I just want to leave this message here, man. I mean, this is pretty like... This is so powerful. A reading like this makes me realize like I am so grateful to have this gift. I am so grateful that I am capable of receiving these messages, really. Did you hear the crow? They heard me. I'm so grateful, really, right now. I'm so grateful to know that there are so some powerful goddesses watching over someone, protecting someone from someone that is so demonic and degenerate. Anything else we need to know about this King of Wands? It's coming in the future. There's something coming for them in the future here for some sort of work or some sort of plan. Yeah, it's being exposed here. Seven of Cups in reverse. There's no confusion about this. Ace of Coins. Why do I feel like that is a petition that they made? I just said it too. I just literally said it. Why do I feel like it's the petition that they made? This King of Wands does sacrifices. Yeah, they do. I don't even want to go more into it than that. I don't know what kind. I don't know. All I know, it's a heart. All I know is that the devil has come out for this person multiple times. This is disgusting and vile and degenerate. You're under judgment for this. You're under judgment for this, King of Wands. Your soul is under judgment. And that is all that this person needs to know. They are most likely watching. This person's soul is under judgment and this was just most likely a foreshadow so that they understand what's coming to them and why and who is coming for them. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah. I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.